much. Why is he taking a few thousand dollars to step aside? You because, can think about that. Because it's a few thousand dollars not to fight. In, to fight, I mean, he, he, he doesn't have to do anything. He gets the money. But he's obsessed with getting back at Iron Barkley unless he's uh, he's guaranteed the fight with the winner they, they, of that they one. They have Barclay guaranteed, Tony. yes. He is but, guaranteed the fight with the Wasn't Lennox with Lewis the guaranteed yeah. the fight with the Riddick Bone? So I'm just saying this wonderful world of boxing, oh. if he has him right in front of him, he could get that fight. How can you say Take that? It. They've got a contract. <laughs> Boxers never, oh. they never break contracts. I forgot Don't about that. That's right. Never forget. At least we forget, Al. Well, at least we forget that this is the ninth round of the scheduled ten rounder. And uh, Van Horn just finding it very difficult to get Ricky Thomas in trouble. And let me ask you, could Darren Van Horn be in trouble if this goes to the scorecards? Look who I'm asking. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Al. I'm just throwing that out. I'm throwing that out in general to the folks viewing in. <laughs> you bet. Anybody could be in trouble. I tell you, I've got this fight very close. Ricky Thomas has shown me that he wants to be in this fight. He's landed some good clubbing punches. He's been a, a very aggressive throughout this match. I think this is a, a dangerous, it's come down to, to a dangerous time for Darren Van Horn. The number one contender, could Ricky Thomas, could he be overlooking Ricky? There's a time remaining in round number nine. I think GL thought that Darren Van Horn in the mid rounds, five, six, or seven, would be able to take out Ricky Thomas. A lot of people thought. And uh, he has not. They'll go to a tenth. You mean somebody thought that out? And now Darren Van Horn will hear it for the last to time tonight from his dad. Huh? You got to fight one easy. So don't do nothing silly. You gotta pop that jab at him. When he don't wanna fight, you can't stand there. Anytime you get in a clinch, you can't stand there. You gotta keep turning to the right and turning to the right. All you gotta do. All right, now look. Get in hold. Get in hold. All right. Come on, Rick. He walks in. Move before you punch. Move after you punch, okay? Last round. Be smart. Keep your chin down. There's no sense doing anything silly, okay? Huh? Hand speed. Obviously, GL did not come over here to look at your scorecard. He thinks uh, his uh, son has this handling. Well, that's his unbiased opinion. And maybe he knows something that I don't. I, uh, I have the fight quite close. Well, I think he's if, sitting next to the judge. If system. I were the number one contender, I would be concerned. Mm -hmm. But maybe that's why I'm over here and not fighting. Well, I think if GL felt his son was really in trouble, he would have instructed him to go out and do something dramatic here in the tent. But instead, he's saying, don't get careless. Be safe. Not sorry. Final round. Darren Van Horn, 51 victories, three Great. defeats. One step back. One step back. All of his defeats, world championship fights. Two to Gianfranco Rossi and the other to Iran Barkley. Ricky Thomas comes in, a very modest 11 wins, six losses, and a draw with just three knockouts. He got Van Horn's attention in the second round with some sweeping hooks. Once with the left, once with the right, and uh, created some swelling on the cheekbones of Van Horn, something that has uh, bothered Van Horn the rest of the way. And you see what happened at the first part of this round. Darren's dad told him to go out there, box, don't get caught, just be careful. He started out the this round boxing, and Ricky Thomas got him to chasing him. He scored a few punches, and then he started getting him to lunge after him. What's happening here? Try to do is impose your will on your opponent. This is the prelim to the special main event 
And this place will be electric when Vinny Pazienza steps in the ring. We're in Ledyard, Connecticut, which is about uh, 45 minutes to drive from Providence, Vinny's hometown. And I think a few of his friends have come down for this one. Inside the last minute of the last round. There have been no knockdowns in this fight. Thomas standing right there in front of Van Horn. Trying to land that one big shot is Thomas. Thomas better get his combinations going. This is a terrible impression on the judges. There Thomas tried to look away to get Van Horn to look away. Van Horn didn't go for it. Thomas playing with the former champion. Ten seconds left in the tenth. And that is it. Darren Van Horn taken ten rounds by a relative unknown who stepped into this fight on four days notice and will go to the cards. Get the decision when we return. And pretty close for a former world champion against a relative unknown. But he does win the unanimous decision. He go, does go to 52 and 3 and uh, does continue his hope for another world title fight. Vinny Pazienza, moments away from 